Congratulations, fantastic job, unbelievable work ethic out there. Tell us a little bit about what it took to get here. What is the work that you did to make this happen? This is building on what we did a year ago. We uh, combined made a D3 side back home, and we just brought in had 40 guys at practice. There were guys that couldn't play today, didn't even make the roster, but they're here with us. And this is about taking way more than the 15 we put on the field to put together the best 15. It's built from everybody who doesn't even play. That's where that started from. You know, we were here 364 days ago, and you know what it feels like, and you, you buckle down, and you know, I, it's we put in so much. You know, if young families, my wife takes care of my our kid, my kids so well, and you know, you just can't ask for more. Great. I'm here with Joe Lippert, coach of the Wisconsin National Champions here, uh, Division Two, and I just want to uh, first of all congratulate you and say what an, a phenomenal performance that you put on the field, especially in the second half. Can you talk a little bit about some of the uh, the work and the um, the efforts that you put on put in as a club to get here? It takes a club. We say it all the time in training. Uh, we say it at the end of every training, at the start of every training, at all our social events. It takes a club. Um, it's more than just the 15 out on the field. It's the subs. It's the guys that don't make the roster. It's our team doctor who's giving us nutritional stuff, who's doing organizing stretch downs and specific warm-ups for us. It takes a club. It's old boys. It's the old boys that came here, bought tickets, people, people that did, I, I don't know, did whatever they had to do to get here and support the team. It takes a club.